Hey, it's Reagan Black. I wanted to come in here right quick and do another video um, specifically geared towards writers and your writing life. I do a lot of the 60 second inspiration for your writing journey on Periscope. I try to get in there several times a week, if not every day, to um, just give you some encouragement. And one of the things that I did in a recent broadcast was playing the what if game. And a lot of times as writers, you know, especially fiction authors, you, you want to play the what if game and you want to go for the worst case scenario. You know, what's going to happen to your characters that's going to make life miserable that they really have to work hard to overcome. And that's a great what if game to play. But sometimes playing that what if game creeps into our real lives too. And that's where we need to be really careful because if when you when you're training your mind creatively to think of what if worst case scenarios, um, sometimes that can bleed over into real life, you know, and sometimes I, I always joke that, you know, doctors probably shouldn't tell authors all the worst case scenario options, even though they're obligated to, because authors will then run away with that and uh, make themselves crazy. I gave myself nightmares um, for a couple nights uh, just before my thyroid surgery for that same reason. It was all the what ifs. Okay, so I know that the what if game can come back and bite us a little bit in real life. So I want to make sure that if you find yourself in your writing life and it's all about, oh, what if this fails? Or what if this book is awful? Or what if nobody reads this book? Or what if readers hate it? Or what if critics just trash it? You know, when you're thinking about those what ifs, um, I want you to, to practice turning those on your head. You know, all the, all the negative what if worst case scenario stuff for our characters that makes for a great read isn't the healthiest thing for us to focus on. So instead of what if bad things happen, I want you to think about just flipping that on its side. You know, what if the book fails? The question I want you to ask yourself is what if it succeeds? So if your what if this book fails is making you not want to write this book, flip it on its head. What if it succeeds? And, and do a little brainstorming, do a little planning, do a little dreaming about how great that would be if that book succeeds, about what that would mean for you, for your readers, for your family, for your career, for whatever. What if the book succeeds? And follow that, jump down that rabbit hole and run with it for a little while rather than the negative side of it, okay? And, and that can happen to us in all various stages. It can happen to us in the drafting process and it makes us want to not draft it anymore. You know, it, it can, um, you know, some people are afraid. What if, what if the book does succeed? Some people are afraid of that. And in that case, it's like, well, you know, really is success, you know, you've, you've got to find a way to frame your success in a way that makes you more comfortable and keeps you excited about the work. So I really encourage you to, to turn all those negative what ifs into your characters if you're writing fiction and, and flip them on their, their flip them around so that those what ifs can work in your favor. When you shift that focus to a positive, you can build up momentum and enthusiasm and excitement that will also infuse your story and infuse your productivity. Okay, so when you play the what if game, make sure that you're playing it so that you can come out a winner and on top. My name is Reagan Black. I put all my information in the description below. If you need me, please reach out to me at reaganblack.com uh, where we have all kinds of, all my books are there. Uh, definitely live the adventure and all the best with your writing journey. Bye.